Hello and welcome to my channel. It's so good to be out here. I have been ill for about a week and I've been uh, stuck indoors. Uh, so it's really good to be out and I'm glad that you're with me or I would be all by myself. So it's a foggy day today. We're gonna to do about five miles and I can't tell you how happy I am to reach 400 subscribers. Now I say I can't tell you, it's a weird statement that isn't it? I can't tell you how happy I am. I actually can tell you how happy I am. I'm absolutely ecstatic. I'm over the moon. And uh, thank you to all my subscribers and thank you for continuing to watch and comment on all my vlogs. 400 subscribers. Who said you couldn't grow a channel on YouTube with the new algorithm? Oh yes, I did, but uh, obviously I was feeling ill. I think I was having a bit of a witter. And uh, it is a thing though. It's affecting a lot of people, but uh, there's nothing like YouTube. And I've got my head around it thanks to your comments. Uh, thank you for all your comments on that vlog. It did help me get my head around it and uh, and yeah, there's nothing like YouTube. So yes, they've cornered the market and this is where I'll be staying. I've got no interest in going on Instagram, Facebook or anything else. So hopefully it will all work out. The monetization side of YouTube isn't something that I'm interested in and I can see you guys are not interested in it either. It's all about sharing, sharing this, what I'm doing today, sharing with you the fact that I've been poor. Uh, I feel that you guys are friends. So, uh, and I'm amazed how that does actually build up as you go along with your channel. Uh, so yes, uh, I am sharing this with you, this walk today, feeling so good to be out here after being polar. Now I've been uh, looking at your comments on my, uh, my wild camping and my coast to coast trip, uh, some help that I have requested from you guys. And I'm starting to build up quite a, uh, a wish list on my Amazon account for boots, a tent, sticks, all sorts of stuff on there, a cook set. So I'll be letting you know what I've purchased uh, very soon. Uh, it's mounting up a little bit, but it's all about keeping it so compact, isn't it? So uh, yeah, it's really interesting and I'm enjoying this journey, the whole research, so that when I do get to the coast to coast, I'll just be out here with my tiny little camera, hopefully with the media module around it, getting a little bit better audio, but the audio on here, this is on board. This is the internal audio. Yes, we're on the GoPro Hero 8. I'm about a month in with this camera now, and I can tell you, it's a great camera. I'm gonna tinker about today with uh, the flat profile and see how I go on with that, because yes, it is uh, slightly oversaturated, slightly. If I really wanted to get a faithful image, I wouldn't even be using this camera. In my bag, I've got the FZ2000, the Lumix, and that's a great camera, and uh, it's way more advanced, and uh, the picture you get from that is anything you want it to be, and uh, straight out of the camera, it's fantastic, it's quite faithful to how it actually looks. But I'm gonna have a go with the flat profile at some point today, and sort of compare it and see what, see what I think, and see what you think. So I'm out here today to uh, have a look at the GoPro Hero 8, and the flat color profile uh, because I've owned the camera for about a month now and I'm sure that it actually works and I needed to uh, find that out first of all I'm not going to start tinkering about with a camera that doesn't actually work and this camera does work so uh, I'm willing to tinker about now with the uh, color profile and I've heard that the color profile of the GoPro Hero series are notoriously hard to color grade. Now I'm not really into color grading. I like to uh, use the camera just straight out of the box on the GoPro color and that's how I normally do and that's what we're doing now. We're on the GoPro color now. So that's how I normally go about it because it's easy. You just press record and you go. But I am taking on board the comments on the oversaturation. It does make it look a little bit more glorious than it actually is. It's quite a, uh, a grey day today. We've got a lot of fog up, up on the top there. 
there's a lot of fog. We'll be walking up into the fog later on. So you can imagine the uh, the colours in the sky. Um, I'm interested to see how the GoPro is going to do with that sky. There's nothing there, it's just white. Um, so yeah, it's really foggy up there and we're going to walk into the fog, get higher up. I'm going to uh, I'm going to climb up there. It's quite a climb for a 50 year old. It's, uh, it's quite a climb up through this little valley here, but it's very scenic. So we're going to have a look up there and rise on up into the fog. And so you can imagine the colours are quite muted. I bet we're picking up a lot of uh, water noise from the water below here. Let's let you have a look. Yeah, so there'll be a lot of water noise there because the GoPro Hero microphone is going to pick up everything. But hopefully it's picking up my voice really well. Because in post I'll be isolating the forward facing microphone and doing what I think is uh, dual mono. Is that right David? David Harry? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> is that right? Someone's going to tell me. Anyway I'm going to double up, double up that channel that has the forward facing microphone in it. We should get decent audio from this. That's how I've been doing it. So. We're going to have a walk up here into the fog, as I say, and the colours, the colours today will be quite muted. Uh, there's no sunshine. Uh, it's lovely and green, but uh, it's not a bright, vibrant green, which I'm imagining the GoPro is, uh, is producing now. So it'll be interesting when I switch to the flat profile and then I'm going to grade it to how I believe it looks now. Uh, and that'll be interesting as well. Now, if I have any issues with the grading, as people have said that I will, um, I'll maybe talk about that in another vlog. But I'm just gonna do a few little tweaks and make it look exactly how it looks today. So, let's have a look around. So it was quite a challenging climb that, quite challenging because uh, one slip and you're in that river and it's a, it's a long fall. So uh, I made it. So take note of the surroundings, we're in the GoPro colour and when I get over to this little viewpoint here, I'm going to have a chat with you and we're going to switch at that point to the flat colour and what you'll be seeing is the flat colour that's been uh, altered by me that's been uh, colour graded by me as they say. I'm not a colour grader but uh, I can tweak little things and I'm just going to see, it's a bit of an experiment for me just to decide whether I'm just going to stick with GoPro colour or try and get a more accurate uh, image. So I've reached this vantage point and what a vantage point it is. I can't see very far today. You can see the fog, but it's a beautiful day. They're all beautiful days. So uh, what was I talking about? Yes, this is the point that I'm going to change to the flat color. So right now we are in the GoPro color and it's just an experiment to decide whether I'm going to uh, mess about with GoPro coloring to try and get a more accurate uh, image of the day or just stick with uh, the GoPro colour. I don't mind the GoPro colour, I've kind of always used it. It's just that it's in my mind, uh, some people saying that uh, it's oversaturated, yeah. Not many cameras actually uh, give a true uh, a true picture straight out of the box uh, of what it looks like. Uh, Canon's colours are beautiful, but um, it's not actually how it looks. And I suppose that's why we have colour graders, people that are professional colour graders, to make it look just how you want. Uh, and, and also, of course, uh, cinematic and uh, nothing like it actually is, a bit more moody. So uh, it's, it's really subjective, isn't it, what, what you're happy with. So I'm going to switch to the flat profile after this and do the rest of the vlog in flat profile and it'll be colour graded by me. There won't be much colour grading going on. I'll let you know what I did and what I became happy with. Hope it's not going to be too difficult. So. Uh, let's uh, let's switch to the uh, to the flat profile. 
So we are on the flat profile now. Actually, this is the flat profile as it looks ungraded. Thought I better let you have a look at it ungraded. And um, from the next uh, take, it's all going to be graded. So I am in the flat profile of the GoPro Hero 8 and I have colour graded it to look exactly how it looks today. But you've only got my word for that. Because whenever I look at one of your videos, I don't really know what it looked like that day. So uh, does it really matter if I was in the GoPro colour? Would, would you actually care or be bothered? Yeah, so we've got some fell runners there. Um, wouldn't fancy that on a day like today. It's so wet and uh, I really don't know how they do that. So yes, if we were in the GoPro colour, would you actually care? Would you actually know? And you've got that to bear in mind really. It's really subjective um, how you alter the colours. I don't really want to be doing that, but if I choose, if it's really easy to do, and I don't know right at this moment whether it's easy to do, if it's really easy to do, I might just do that. I might record in flat profile and, and do a like a, I think you can save a profile on your computer and actually just tweak it just like that. So uh, what do you think of the colour so far? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments section below what you think. So I've almost reached the end of this walk and I'm so glad that you've been with me or I would of course have been on my own. Now this is a good little area because we've got plenty of colour behind me, the greens and the orange. The grass is very orangey in colour and I'm interested to know myself whether I've managed to recreate that. We're going to switch now to GoPro colour and uh, just see what that would have looked like with the, in this exact same environment. So I'm going to switch now to the GoPro colour and see what that looks like and then back to my, uh, my graded image. So I'm in the exact same spot and we are now in GoPro colour. 1080p 24 frames per second and it's 1080p 24 frames per second that I'm recording in in the flat profile as well. So that's what it looks like in the GoPro colour. Um, I'm going to decide which one I prefer. Tell me which one you prefer. I'm going to change back now to the flat profile, have a little bit of a walk around this area. Okay, so we're going back to the flat profile now. So what else is coming up on my channel? Well, I'm going to be purchasing quite a few pieces of equipment for my coast to coast and my wild camping that I'll be doing on that coast to coast. So I'll be trialing them out. The tent that I will be going for is the Lanshan One. And that's been suggested quite a few times in the comments of a lot of my vlogs when I've been asking for advice on tents. So after a lot of research and almost purchasing different tents, I've gone for that one. It definitely is a really compact tent. And I've seen a few of you guys uh, doing actually the coast to coast with the Lanshan One and uh, and putting it to its test in, uh, in winter conditions. So I'm really happy with that. So that is waiting for me to just press the button on the purchase and uh, I'm sure there's some pros and cons to it. I've seen that uh, but I think it's going to I think it's going to fit the bill for the coast to coast so I'm looking forward to trying that out. So I've got a cook set on the way, I've got my boots, new boots, I'm looking forward to breaking them in and a few other bits and bats that I'm going to try and make a really small compact backpack out of because uh, yes I've definitely obviously got to travel light. So that's about it for this vlog we're still in the uh, flat profile let me just check are we in the flat profile? <laughs> Yes, definitely in the flat profile, just had a look. Uh, so we are in the flat profile right now and uh, I'll have graded it. Let me know what you think, um, have I done a good job? Uh, but you don't actually know because you don't actually know what it looks like today here. But I've made it look, let me just have a good look around. Yes, the grass has kind of got a, an orangey, yellow, yellow orangey colour. And uh, the, the green is pretty lush green. The sky is white, it's uh, quite foggy up there. You can see out through the trees how uh, foggy it is up there. But here we are below the fog. So that's about it for this vlog. Give me any tips in the comments section below on colour grading from the flat profile of the GoPro Hero 8. And uh, if I decide that it's too finicky, I'll just stick to the GoPro colour. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I've enjoyed your company as always. I upload a vlog every week, so if you haven't already done it, consider subscribing. And thank you for getting me to 400 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. So until the next one, bye.